man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he had found it, he laid it on his shoulders and rejoiced. Maybe you once knew Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and you fell away from Him. And you went into sin. You've rejected the Son of God. You can come back to Jesus. If you've been lost, Jesus, He goes after lost sheep. Maybe you went into sin and you once knew the right way. You can be saved if you repent and come back to Jesus. Jesus desires that all men would be saved, that people would repent of their sinful living and He will forgive them. Maybe you are a lost sheep. You can return to the shepherd of your soul. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is life eternal or eternal life. Luke chapter 15, starting with verse 6. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying, unto them rejoice with me for I have found my loss for I have found my sheep which was lost I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance either what woman having ten pieces of silver if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Jesus desires that all men would repent. He desires that men would turn away from their sin. Jesus is coming. He will judge the world in righteousness. And right now you have this chance for your sins to be washed away with the blood of Jesus. Jesus can cleanse you with his blood and your sins can be forgiven if you turn away from your sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to obey Jesus if you want to avoid hell. Jesus Christ teaches who the sun sets free is free indeed. It's written in John 3, if you believe, you will not be condemned. But if you believe not, the wrath of God abideth on you. It is written in the book of Psalms that God shall wound the head of his enemies, the one that goes on in their trespasses. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd, Jesus Christ leads around the just. There's 99 just persons that need no repentance. They have repented. God does not command that every man repent and then keep sinning. No, you repent, you forsake your sins. To believe not in the book of John 3.36 also means to not obey. The children of Israel believed God. They had mental assent. They knew God. They had faith. They believed Moses. 
yet God in His wrath destroyed them because of their sins. They didn't become an atheist. They were a backslider. Uh, the Word of God says the, back, the backslider at heart shall be filled with his own ways. If you want to go back to sin, Jesus Christ is looking for you, yes. But you're not part of his fold any longer. The Bible teaches that you must stop sinning to be saved. It is written, they shall call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. Not in their sins, but from their sins. This is regeneration. Titus 3, sir, it's your day to be born again. It's your day to be saved. It's not too late for you. You can be regenerated by the Holy Ghost. It is written in Titus 3 that we were sometimes disobedient. You never get saved in sin. That would mean you get saved in disobedience. But rather, Jesus Christ has been made perfect. And Jesus Christ is the author of this salvation we preach to all those that obey Him. Hebrews 5. That's the Word of God, dear sir. Do you want to be saved? God's calling you out of all cigarette smoking, drunkenness, reviling, scoffing, blasphemy, idolatry. For example, if you're Catholic, you're following idols, God can deliver you, you can be saved. You'd be set free from praying to Mary or praying to the dead. The dead don't hear you. Even if they're part of the living, even if they're in heaven, even if they're saved, they can't hear your prayers. It is written in the prophet Isaiah that Abraham and Jacob were ignorant of the people. They had died in faith. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. But yet they're ignorant of the people that are still here. You need to pray to the Father of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, you need to pray in the Holy Ghost. Again, it's written, the Holy Ghost is given unto those that obey Him. There is no salvation apart from obedience. This is why you need to fear God. It is written, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. What is wisdom? What is understanding? The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Evil thoughts, adultery, fornication. These are evil things. Defile the whole body. Jesus said, if your eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. But if your eye be evil, your whole body shall be full of darkness. Now look at the deception. If the light that you think you have is darkness, oh God have mercy. How great is that darkness. That's true. A lot of people think they're gonna go to heaven when they die, but they're living in sins. Our God teaches the wrath of God abides on the children of disobedience. But you can be saved. You can come out from that. Through the preaching against a backslider for the backsliders to come back. Also is manifest the false convert someone never saved to begin with. Because if the backsliders condemn for going back into sin, you never get saved in sin. Or else how can you leave your first love? It's logical reasoning. Jesus Christ is the Logos of God. Jesus Christ is the true light. 
which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Jesus Christ is the root and the offspring of David. He's the root and the offspring. He created this world and it came into the world. Why do you not comprehend the words we preach? It's because you love the darkness and you hate the light. See, the sinner churches, they teach that you come to Jesus and you get better over time. Nay, rather, Jesus saith, if you do evil, you hate the light, neither do you come to the light. That's it. If you do sin, you don't come to Jesus. But he that doeth truth, he cometh to the light. His deeds are made manifest to him that they are wrought in God. You cannot do truth and believe lies. You cannot do truth and sin against the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is reproving sin. You can't be doing sin and get the Holy Ghost. It's logic. Logic overcomes the fallen angels. The fallen angels, they tamper with the Word of God. It is written in the book of Psalms 91. He shall give his angels charge over thee. It was the devil that used this against Jesus. Jesus goes back to the Word of God, and he went back to the Word of God rightfully divided. You should not tempt the Lord your God. Dear sir, have you gotten saved? You're saved? Are you born again? Have the Holy Ghost. That's a UFO? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Jesus Christ commands all men everywhere to repent. The Father Jesus commands all men everywhere to repent. The Holy Ghost is reproving all sin. Jesus was on this earth commanding men to repent. And he's no respect to persons. The eyes of the Lord, the eyes of Jesus go out. Dear sir, have you gotten saved? Have you come out of the false church, dear sir? We remember you, sir. We care about you. The eyes of the Lord go out into all the earth, beholding the evil and the good. God is strong on the behalf of those that have their hearts perfect to Him. You gotta have a perfect heart toward the Lord. You need to prepare your heart. Make straight paths for your feet. You gotta do truth, you gotta come to the light. That's in repentance. The prophet Ezekiel taught, if you do what is lawful and right, that's what repentance looks like. You've forsaken all sin. Now you have faith in the Son of God, you get forgiven of the sins you just forsook. It's the only gospel. It's the only gospel where the old man is crucified with him. Are you saved? You born again? It's the only gospel that you can be buried with him and rise up in newness of life through faith, the operation of God. That's where your belief must be, walking in newness of life. You got to come out of the sodomite churches. You got to come out of the saved sinner churches if you want to be saved. Come out from among them and be you separate, saith the Lord. Love those sinners. Love them by telling them about their sins. Hey, if you saw a house burning down, and you saw a blind person can't smell, and you see some sinner leading him into a burning house, would you speak up? Would you say something? You probably would. Now why you look the other way about sin? We want you to know Jehovah's Witness is a cult, and Jehovah's Witnesses are gonna perish in hell. 
I tell you, because I care about you, Jesus Christ is God. He can deliver you from the bondage of cults, and there's cults all over this town. And that's what they do. They want your money. They have eyes full of adultery. They cannot cease from sin. You must cease from sin. The false teachers do not cease from sin. Open rebuke is better than secret love. It's of the faith once delivered to the saints to reach out in benevolence to your neighbors who are living in sins. Even the Good Samaritan story, it's a great story. But where's the love to rebuke the ones that passed over the man who had death? He was close to, we care about you. Are you born again? See, he was on the road. He was injured. Could have died. And it was a good Samaritan. He helped him. But how about for the ones that passed him over? Can you rebuke him? Can you say you don't love your neighbor? How about to the rich man who ignored Lazarus? Lazarus merely wanted the crumbs off the table. Can any man rebuke such a rich man covetous? for hating his neighbor. See, give your fruit to Lazarus. But if you do not have charity, you are nothing. Charity suffers long. Charity is kind. Charity does not envy, does not boast, saving God, of course. And we do not envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end. And the expectation of the saint will not go wanting, will not perish. We're going to reign on this earth for 1,000 years with Jesus. After that, Jesus Christ will throw Satan into the lake of fire. Then the Father of Jesus will come down. We have the Holy Ghost. We have the Spirit of Christ. Jesus Christ forgave the backslidden apostles. He breathed on them and he saith, Receive you the Holy Ghost. A dear sir, are you saved? Jesus is coming. He's going to judge all men for all the sins that they have committed in the body. And if your sin has not been forgiven, if you have not been cleansed by the blood of Jesus, you will give an account for your sins. There is a sin that a lot of people do in this time, and they think nobody sees it but God. His eyes are everywhere beholding the good and the evil and it's pornography. People watch pornography and they masturbate and commit these sexual acts with demons. They open themselves up to demon spirits. But your body was made to be a temple of the Holy Spirit. If you repent of your sins, you can receive the Holy Spirit. But all of those that watch pornography Lust after men and women commit sexual acts of perversion. They will be judged by God. And when I say judged, they will be condemned in fire. There's a day coming where all your secrets will be exposed. And if you do not repent and believe the gospel of Jesus, you will perish in your sins. Give your life to Jesus while you have the chance. He's coming. He's coming. Will you be ready? There was a false gospel that's being preached in a lot of these ecumenical churches. And that is that we can be saved in sin. The person that 
commit sin is of the devil. If we commit sin or living in sin, we are of the devil. We're not a child of God. The wrath of God comes against the children of disobedience against those that are committing sin. Sin is lawlessness. You cannot be saved while sinning. The person that commits sin is a servant of sin. And those that serve sin, they will be cast into fire. If you go to a church and they tell you that you can be saved while you are living in sin, that church is not with God. That church is of the devil. God commands all men to repent. To repent, to be baptized in water for the forgiveness of your sins and you can receive the Holy Spirit. But you have to repent. You have to turn from your sins and receive the Lord. God does not have intimate personal, uh, intimate per personal relationship with those that are sinning. He does not love them in that type of way. In order to be loved of God, you have to love Him and keep His commandments. They must not be grievous to you. If you keep God's commandments, that's the person that loves God. That's the person that loves Jesus. The one that disobeys His commandments does not know God. And the wrath of God is abiding upon them. Will you repent? Will you give your life to Jesus and be saved? and delivered from sin. Jesus is coming, and the wrath of God will abide upon those that do wickedness. Give your life to Jesus. Sin separates you from God. Will you repent? Will you give your life to the Lord while you have the chance? It's important to love your enemies and love your brethren. If your brother falls into sin, you got to rebuke your brother. Your enemies are already are in sin. You, we need to rebuke them out of love. That, if you do not repay, you will perish. It's written, Jesus Christ taught this. It's written in the prophet Isaiah 59. It's your sins and your iniquities that has separated you from your God, he will not hear you. God does not hear the prayer of the one that is in sin. If you like to be redeemed, if you like to be forgiven of your sins, you must repent of them, which means to stop doing them. If you do not stop doing the sins, God will not hear your prayer. That's an honest God. Honesty in fact, if you want honor, before honor is humility. You must humble yourself before God. And he shall lift you up. But if you do not humble yourself before God, you cannot expect God to hear your prayers. God certainly knows everything that's going on in this world. But if you'd like a personal communication with God, if you want to be God's friend, you must stop sinning against God. King David knew when he came off a backslide, King David knew his sin was against God first and foremost. It is God that created us in his image. We have come to age, we have knowledge of good and evil. It is written by James, if you know the good that you ought to do and you do not do it, it is sin. If you know that something is evil and you do it, it is sin. Jesus teaches you have a defiled heart. The Bible elsewhere teaches to prepare your heart for God. The preparation is not working. You're going a false way if you think you're going to sin and get to heaven. It's not what John the Baptist came to do. John came preaching a baptism of repentance. You must be immersed in repentance. You need to repent of your dead works, for such is the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Repentance of dead works, faith toward God. Will you repent of dead works? 
Jesus never teaches men to repent of doing the right thing. He teaches men to repent of sinning. In fact, he saith it so soundly and so. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made him. Of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are.